Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much. I'm great to honor to be participate this conference. Uh, my name is Tanu Salvasa. Uh, my experience is very terrible. Not my experience. Some of my friends are being in Australia. We were in offshore processing center um, nearly seven years. Then after that, we go to Australia under the Medivac law. Uh, we very hard hard to fight to get into the community from detention, indefinite detention. The many, many people from community, they support to us continuously, push the government. Finally, we got the freedom after eight years and nine years later, some of my friends. Every single my one of my friends, they were waiting for, they were waiting for just pass one message to their family. Myself, I have been waiting for eight years to pass one message to my mom. Uh, hi, mom, I am a free. This is very painful, but when I was called to my mom, I, I could realize how, how much she was happy in that moment, because after eight years later, I tell this message to mom, my mom. Uh, after eight years later, this government still they living into the community with temporary visa. This is unfair. Once time, the politician made the brutal policy. They don't realize how many people will be affected in future. People like me, mm, still in community, they have in temporary visa. They can't do anything, especially separate from family. It's really very painful things. Is uh, how, how many years we were separate from family. Every single person, uh, they have a family and loved one in their own country. They couldn't see their family very long time yet. This is a family sickness. Uh, we still st we still have been fighting for this common. We, day by day, year by year, we expect our one, one expectation, just we need the permanent solution. But we believe this new government, last time, uh, month ago, I went to the parliament and meet the Immigration Minister, and we explain our situation, how many problems we have in facing into the community with temporary visa, yeah. even Medicare card, uh, and each each six month one time we need to renew our visa. We couldn't get the permanent job. We can have a job, but casually, because all the companies they wanted to permanent visa holder for their permanent work, but they don't like to people who are living in temporary visa. This kind of things is we can't uh, afford our life in this community. Uh, not only this kind of problem, many many things is going on. We can't we can't uh, study in here. We don't have a right to study. We don't have to try to fly overseas. Even we can't see our family members. This is why the government still they punishing us after nine years, ten years. What was our fault? We just came to seeking asylum and safety and started our new life in here. We are human beings. Not only me, people like me, many people, they have living in communities, similar situation. But we trying to push the government continuously. But we believe this government can, will do something but they're going to do uh, who already being in community three years and five years visa, they're going to forward the permanent protection visa for them. But they don't care about the who people living in preaching visa, but they don't have any idea. How long we have been waiting for to start our new life? This is a situation going on. We are the human being. We need to permanent solution to start our new life and see my my personal opinion, I just wanted to see my family one time after 10 years, 9 years later. It's a really very painful thing. Sometimes I thought I want to cry loudly because it's a very painful. Uh, family sickness is uh, very hard and to be separate from family. So every single person has the same issue, but we need to push the government continuously. We're trying to fight for our rights. Uh, we need to support people like you um, from community, other organizations. We need to tell the, our problem. We are the part of in this community. 
we are living in this community we have been suffering continuously year by year day by day we are the human being we need to permanent solution we continuously fight for our rights that's the situation